Hi guys, welcome to Code Source Mathematics class. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. In today's class, I want to discuss on how to solve simultaneous equation using the matrix method. Alright? So, we want to solve an example here. I want to find the value of x and y. How will I do that? Very simple. What I just need to do is, the first thing you do is you bring your level to this side. That will not be what? 7x plus ay minus the level 5x plus 6y minus 4 equals to 0 equals to 0. Alright? So after doing this, the next thing I need to do is to put them in matrix form. If I'm putting them in matrix form, that will be what? 7, 5, 3, 6 minus 11 and what? Minus 4. Alright? Now, after this, the formula we are going to be using is x over delta 1 equals to y over delta 2 equals 1 over delta root. Now, you can see I have two values. Because I have two values, you know when we are dealing with determinant of matrix 3 by 3, we will say it will be plus, minus, plus. So therefore, my y is going to be other one, negative. Alright? So, I want to solve this question now to get our value of what x and y. So, to do that, the first thing I need to get is my what? My delta naught. So, to get to get our delta naught, alright? For me to get my delta naught, I am going to find the determinant of only 7, 3, 5, 6. That is, I will forsake the constant. I get what I'm saying. You can see that 7, 3, 5, 6 are the values of y. I will forsake the word, the constant. So I will find the determinant of this. So what will be the determinant of this? It will be 7 times 6. 7 times 2 to give us what? 42. 42 minus 5 times 3. 5 times 3 will give us what? 15. Alright? So my delta dot will give us 42 minus 15 will give us 1. That will give, so let's do that. 42 and 15. So if I go one here, that will be 12. Then this will give me what? 7. And this will give me what? Give me 3 minus 2. So this will give me 20. Seven. So that will be what? 27. Alright? So, after getting that, now, the next thing to do is to get, is to get my what? My delta 1. Now, for me to get my delta 1, I will forsake the x value. I get it now. I want to get x rather. I want to get the x part. You can see that delta 1 is under x. So, I will forsake the x and I will use what? The y and the constant. So, we use the y and constant. That is what? 3 and what? Minus 11. Then 6 and what? Minus 4. Alright? So, my delta 1, the, the determinant will be 3 times minus 4, which will be what? Minus 12. Minus 11 times 6 will give what? Minus 66. Alright? And that will be what? My delta 1. We have what? Minus 12 plus 66. Alright? So that will give me what? 66 minus 12 will give me what? 54. Alright? So that will be my delta 1. Now, to get my delta 2 now, I'm sure you already know the concept now. I will now what? I will use my x and what? Constant. So x and constant. Which now be what? So to get delta 2. So using my x and constant now, which is what? 7 and what? Minus 11. Then 5 and what? Minus 4. Alright? So my delta 2 will now be equal to 7 times minus 4, which will give me what? Minus 28. Alright? Minus, minus 11 times 5 will give me what? Minus 50. Five. All right. 
That will give what? Minus 28 plus 55. So we will now do what? 55 minus 28. So 55 minus 28. If I take one here and put it here, that will be 15 minus what? 8. 15 minus 8 is 7. This will be 4. 4 minus 2 is what? So this will give what? 27. Alright? So after that, I will now come back to my formula. My formula which is what? X over delta 1 equals to what? Minus y over what? Delta 2 equals 1 over what? Delta naught. Knowing that my delta naught is what? What did I get from my delta naught? 27. My delta 1 is what? 54. And my delta 2 is equals to what? 27. Now, you can see from here that to get the value of x and y can be very difficult. But using, I will use this one and any one to get the first value, then I will come back and use to get the, the second value. So to get x, to get x now, I will use x over delta 1 equals 1 over delta naught. So that will be x over delta 1 is what? My delta 1 is 54 equals 1 over delta naught is what? 27. So if you cross multiply, that will be what? 27 x equals what? 54. Then divide by what? 27. 27. 27 cancel 27. Then my x will be what? 2. Because 27 times 2 will give what? 54. Alright, so let's get our um, y, the value of our y now. So to get my y, I can use the same thing now. Minus y over delta 2 equals what? 1 over delta naught. Alright, so that now and the delta naught. So that now what? Minus y over delta 2 is what? 27 equals to 1 over delta naught, which is what? 27. So for me, you can see that the denominator are the same. So they will cancel each other. Alright? So I will now have what? Minus y equals what? 1. Therefore, my y is equal to what? Minus 1. So we can see that our x is equal to what? 2. And our y is equal to what? Minus 1. Now let's check if our answers are correct. 7 times 2. We give us what? 14. 3 times minus 1, we give us what? Minus 3. 14 minus 3, 11. Correct. Let's see the second one. 5 times 2, 10. 6 times minus 1, minus 6. 10 minus 6, 4. Correct. So this is the way to use your uh, matrix method to find simultaneous um, equations. So I'm sure you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like and share this video. Thank you very much and do have a